If you bought the iPhone 11 last year or a charging brick to power your iPhone 12, you may have noticed that they don't look the same as they used to, and I'm going to explain why that is right now. So Apple made two changes to the iPhone's charging brick, the first being its larger size, and this was necessary in order to allow for faster charging, which was especially important as the iPhone batteries became larger. The original iPhone had a 1400 milliamp hour battery, which is less than half the size of the 3600 100 milliamp hour battery on the 12 Pro Max. So if you were to charge both of these phones at the same rate, it'd take the 12 Pro Max much longer to reach 100%, which is why Apple had to create a more powerful charger that could deliver more electricity to the battery faster than before. So instead of the small 5 watt brick that used to be included with every iPhone, Apple changed it to a larger 18 watt brick starting with the 11 Pro. But the second change Apple made is what really frustrated users. Instead of using the same USB-A port as every other iPhone charger, they changed it to USB-C, which meant all the lightning cables users already had were no longer compatible with the new brick. And although some people assumed Apple made this decision to force iPhone users to buy new cables and make more money, that isn't necessarily the whole story. You see, since the introduction of the 12-inch MacBook in 2015, Apple began transitioning their notebooks from USB-A to USB-C. This prompted complaints that the USB-A cables included with products like the iPhone couldn't be directly connected to a MacBook without purchasing an adapter, something users found frustrating considering both products were made by the same company. So Apple had to make a decision, continue to include USB-A chargers and cables with the iPhone, allowing for compatibility with existing accessories, or make the jump to USB-C, allowing users to seamlessly connect their iPhones to their MacBooks. And ultimately, the seamless compatibility between newer products was more important to Apple than allowing for compatibility with older accessories. This is Greg with Apple Explained, thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.